Hey Darren, this is Alex with BMW Gainesville and I wanted to make you a video on this 530i, uh, the 2019. It's in a blue grayish color. I, you know, I'll show you uh, some of the, the exterior and then I'll step inside and show you some of the features in there. So um, yeah, so this is obviously the right side of the vehicle. This is where you'll find the gas cap and there's nothing you gotta press inside. You just open it like that. And I'll go ahead and show you the front. Every BMW has these kidney grills right there. Stink mark. The logo right there, and then the halo lights, of course. Give you a close up of that. So it's a two liter four cylinder engine, and it's got 248 horsepower. Okay, now I'll show you the trunk. So for the trunk, there's a lot of different ways you can open it. You can press this button right here, or you can just press the clasp on there, but I'm gonna show you a really cool way to do it. If you have the key on you, and you move your foot like that, the trunk will actually open like that. And that's the purpose of that is if you have, you know, you're holding bags or something and you don't want to take your key out or your hands are full, you just do that and it opens. So that's pretty cool. And you can also close it like that. I just close it with that button though. Um, so now I'm going to step inside. Before I do that though, I want to show you these ridges right here. That means the, v the vehicle has keyless entry. So if you have your key on you and the, the car is locked, it'll actually open as you put your hand on the handle. And uh, similarly, that if you put your hand on these ridges, the car will lock and give you beeps to let you know that it's locked. So I'll pull on it and then, as you can see, it, it's unlocked again. Okay, and now the inside, the interior of this car is really nice. Um, it's got this uh, oyster grayish color um, and then it's got a the oak trim. You can see that on the left here all throughout the car. So it uh, contrasts really nicely together. And now let's uh, talk about the steering wheel. So for the steering wheel, you have your cruise control settings on the left. And then on the right side, you have voice command settings and different media settings. And here's a view of the instrument panel. And then there's the iDrive screen. The iDrive screen is, you, uh, you have six different menus on this screen. Media radio, communication, navigation, connected drive, my vehicle with all the settings, and then notifications. And it's also touch screen pretty nice um, here's a view of the transmission anytime you put the car in reverse HD quality backup camera is gonna activate and you have different uh, sensors that'll tell you if you're getting close to something so I'll go ahead and back up and kind of demonstrate for that for you as I get closer to these cars behind me I'll get warning squares that'll let me know I'm approaching to it and it'll start beeping at me the closer I get to it so that's a nice safe feature to have. I'll go ahead and move back to the front. There's also sensors in the front that'll light up if you do the same. Okay. You have three different driving modes right there. Emergency brake. And then the controller to operate this screen is right here. But like I said, it's also touch screen. And you have a center compartment right here with a USB port. And I'll give you a quick look at the passenger side. And then the back. You have air controls back here as well. All right, and then one more thing I want to point out, or two more things actually. These triangles right here, that means the car has uh, blind spot detection. So if someone's in your blind spot, it'll light up. And if your blinker's on, it'll, the steering wheel will vibrate at you, letting you know not to uh, change lanes. And then the other thing is that th there's a head-up display in this car. That's that flashing thing you see right there. It actually doesn't flash in real life, but on the cameras, it does that for some reason. It'll tell you how fast you're going in the window so you don't have to look down here. It'll be right in front of you. So that's definitely a nice feature to have. Okay, and that pretty much wraps everything up. It's a basic overview of the car. Obviously, there's more features, but I don't want this video to be too long. Um, and I hope you found this video informative, and uh, we hope to see you here soon. Thank you.